Welcome to the appendix, where we read the primary sources of the past so that the present can be better understood. Today's primary source, New York Sons of Liberty, Resolutions on T, November 29th, 1773. An act of May 1773 permitted the East Indian Company to export tea directly to the American colonies, free from all duties except a three-penny tax payable in America. The company disposed of its enormous quantities of tea through its own agents and thus had a practical monopoly on the tea business in the colonies. It was the danger of this monopoly, rather, than the principle of the tea tax that aroused resentment in the colonies. In Charleston, the tea was allowed to enter, but was placed in government warehouses. In Philadelphia, New York, and elsewhere, ships bearing tea were forced to turn back. In Boston, the attempt to land tea led to the notorious Boston Tea Party of December 16, 1773. The resolutions of the New York Sons of Liberty are given as typical of the methods employed by the colonists. To prevent a calamity which, of all others, is the most to be dreaded, slavery and its terrible contaminants, we, subscribers being influenced from a regard to liberty and disposed to use all lawful endeavors in our power to defeat the pernicious project and to transmit to our posterity those blessings of freedom which our ancestors have handed down to us and to continue to the support of the common liberties of America which are in danger to be subverted do for those important purposes agree to associate together under the name and style of the Sons of Liberty of New York and engage our honor to and with each other faithfully to observe and perform the following resolutions, viz. 1. Resolved that whoever shall aid or abet or in any manner assist in the introduction of tea from any place whatsoever into this colony while it is subject by a British Act to Parliament to the payment of a duty for the purpose of raising a revenue in America, he shall be deemed an enemy to the liberties of America. Second, resolved that whoever shall be aiding or assisting in the landing or carting or such tea from any ship or vessel or shall hire any house, storehouse, or cellar, or any place whatsoever to deposit the tea subject to a duty as aforesaid, he shall be deemed an enemy to the liberties of America. Third, resolved, that whoever shall sell or buy tea or shall aid in transporting such tea from this city until the Revenue Act shall be totally and clearly repealed, he shall be deemed an enemy to the liberties of America. Fourth, resolved, that whether the duties on tea imposed by this act be paid in Great Britain or in America, our liberties are equally affected. Fifth, resolved, that whoever shall transgress any of these resolutions, we will not deal with or employ or have any connection with him. Thank you for joining us for our primary source today on the appendix. We will see you in the stacks.